Alright, this video is on installing Google Earth um, from scratch. I've had some problems in the past, so I thought it might be of use to somebody. Uh, you need to make sure you have LSB core installed. Um, okay, make sure you have this package installed. Um, I've already got that installed, so I don't install it again. Um, so there is a package. Um, do it at get install. Uh, well, if we if you don't know what the package is called, if you do app cache search and then what it is, a search criteria, um, Google Earth like that, it will then tell you the package which is related to what you're talking about. So now I know that the package called Google Earth Test Package is a utility to automatically build a Debian package of Google Earth. So that is a very useful uh, way of looking for what you need. Instead of having to Google things all the time, you can just use app cache. So uh, in case you didn't know that, that's what you do. Okay, so let's do app cap install uh, followed by uh, our package Google Earth dash package. You can do tab completion on it as well. So I'll install that and wait for it to complete. Okay, now we need to. make our package. Uh, we need elevator privileges to do that as well. Okay, just force that through. So you can see that's installing. Okay. And we can see it's building the package and then installing it here. I'll just wait for that to finish. Okay. We did a hash minus R that will rehash uh, everything in our binary file uh, as we'd expect it to. Okay, and there it is, there's our Google Earth package. So, um, EPKG minus I. Oh, run it as a super user. Just as a note there, um, I wrote it out again uh, by pressing the up arrow and putting sudo in front of it. You don't have to do that um, to run the same command again, um, but with sudo you can do sudo space exclamation mark exclamation mark like that. And what that would do is run the last command, so it, it would run this command uh, with sudo. So you don't have to write it all out again. It's just another way of doing the same thing. Okay. Um, so hash again, hash minus r, clear the screen there. And now you can see when I press Google Earth, that is now there. So that wasn't there before because I needed to do hash space minus r. So it's very remember to remember to do that after you've installed something to rehash that table. Or else it won't be there and you'll wonder where it's gone. So we can now run Google Earth. And there it is. Currently, six point zero dot three dot two one nine seven according to this seems to be pretty good, pretty fast. Let's try full screen that. Oops. All looks pretty good. And you can do whatever it is uh, that you want to do. But there is uh, there is your Google Earth. It's pretty simple. Um, and that is the end of this video.